welcome to MIP Blog and the uh, uh, live coverage of MIP Junior and MIPCOM. We're back in Cannes, uh, slumming it as usual in the sunshine, and uh, we are covering today uh, and yesterday MIP Junior. Stuart's been there for us, and uh, next few days we'll be uh, we'll be reporting from MIPCOM and uh, all over Cannes on anything that's uh, that's interesting or out of the ordinary that we think you should know about. Um, so we've got a bit of a different setup this time. We're doing live blogging and video blogging on MIPblog, um, but all the conference videos are on uh, MIPcom.com, so if you want to go there, go and, go and have a look. Um, but what, what will we be doing this week, Stuart and Angela? Angela, what are you, what are you looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to Social TV Boot Camp. Social TV is something that's been developing a lot over the course of the last few MIPS. Mm -hmm. So to be able to, to be part of a boot camp is something that I'm really interested in. And uh, I'm also looking forward to Fresh TV from around the world, which is basically when all the networks come and they sell the formats that they consider uh, the most interesting. In that's a, always a packed show. Yeah, uh, packed that's session, always a packed it? show, and you always see some weird stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so that's going to be a plus. And I'm also looking forward to uh, Walking Dead with Gail Ann Hurd. And apparently, the actress who plays Laurie is going to be there. She is, absolutely. That's going to so, be sweet. Bit of star factor. Yeah. And that's it's a, called a creative masterclass, so the point is um, teaching people about what they can learn from, from series like The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Maybe about. To walk like to a shamble. Or how to shamble, yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of boys I know have bought, like, you know, those things for rifles where you can hold the bullets? Yeah. Like, they're all really excited about this zombie apocalypse thing that's not going to happen, but that they're pretty <laughs> sure it's going to happen. They've got the accessories. Yeah. So maybe there'll be zombie survival tips as well. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. What about you, Stuart? You've, you've been. You've covered a lot of stuff already. What's what's been yeah. what stood out for you? Well, I've been at the Digital Kids Summit today, um, and there are a few things came out of that, actually. There was one about brands starting off of TV and then coming to TV. So Disney showed off Where's My Water, which is a mobile game that's had 100 million downloads. It's about this alligator called Swampy, who's now going into cartoons and shows online and merchandise and the Disney empire. Like Angry Birds. But, exactly, yeah. Disney doing your own version. But then it was also Cut the Rope, which is another mobile game done by an independent developer. It's done, I think it's 250 million downloads. Yes. And again, TV show, they're doing a game show with Sony Pictures, not for kids, for adults, um, merchandise. And it kind of came out, it was interesting, the audiences these games are picking up. So I think Where's My Water has, I think it's 40 million monthly active players, and Cut the Rope has 50 million. So that's their monthly audience. It's kind of it's blows incredible. every show out of the kind of water, yeah. in a way. So that was interesting. And also, um, a lot of talk about apps a bit and kids using touch screens. And there's more of that this afternoon, I think, where it's kids using tablets. How does that change what you produce for them? Mm -hmm. And there was also um, <coughs> games, actually, as well. So uh, there was a commissioners session, digital commissioners. And they had CBBS and Cartoon Network both talking about how children come to their websites to play games, not really to watch TV. Mm -hmm. They do some watching on TV, but they want to play games based on the brands that are on the TV channel. And they're both commissioning a lot of games from independent producers to kind of fuel that. So that was kind of interesting. So yeah, so kind of lots of, lots of what kids are doing digitally and yeah. how that ties back into what a, a TV channel or a producer is doing. And now I imagine that's the theme that's going to carry on all week as well at MIPCOM. Have you? I've heard there's already the cliche of MIPCOM, which is we want to be wherever kids are. Yeah. And that's the whole thing is like kids are doing all the, using all these different devices and you have to go there. And, and produce content for them. And everyone, every single person has said that, this idea of we need to be where they are, is the guiding light behind the strategy. Um, Angela mentioned social TV, that'll be a big thing as well. I think we're expecting a big announcement from uh, YouTube mm. in particular. What are, you, are you looking forward to that? That's yeah, tomorrow. They're gonna, well, I mean, it's, 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 they've been doing their, their channels in the US yeah. uh, for a while now, working with different producers, and there's, there's kind of the expectation that it will be some, something to do with that over here. Um, well, they haven't really seen details yet. Yeah, so um, European partner program. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. And then Isn't Angry Birds giving an announcement also. Angry Birds is doing a. They promised a big announcement on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, their TV show. They they talked about it at MIP TV. Their animated. That. And they never gave a date. It's in autumn, so it's due around now. So I'm assuming that'll be the announcement. Right here. We'll see. It's it's um it's not super clear, but I think they're trying to keep the. Yeah. Oh, there's a sort of suspense going. There was a thing, a teaser last week, wasn't there, for a Star Wars Angry Birds tie up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was oh, a date, right. and wasn't the date maybe this week? So maybe it was the Star Wars announcement. 
I have no inside knowledge of this, but they, they showed a teaser of like a, an angry bird holding a lightsaber. And lightsabers. And the oh. date, I think the date might have been something like... This week? Yeah, the 8th maybe. That would be huge. So maybe that would be at Star Wars and Angry Birds. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just a few other things to look out for. We'll be um, giving you daily updates like this, so uh, stay tuned to mipblog.com and mipcom.com. See you soon. <laughs> Let's see.